Uh, I think being mean is a way to uh, to get yourself excited. It's almost like a like being mad. It's like hating a fella. I, I, I make up things. Maybe if he's smiling, I'll make up a thing, imaginary thing that, hey, this this cat's, you know, he's laughing at me. When I wait the game gets going, I'm going to get this guy. Embarrass him, intimidate him. When you see the guy trying to get up and he's wobbling a little bit, maybe his helmet's, you know, turned, and uh, that's the linebacker's delight. You're not going to end up uh, hurting me. It's going to be you. You're going to be, uh, you're going to be punished. So, so you better get ready today. With a new hat and new hopes, Chicago's Jim Dooley brought the Bears to their new home, Soldier Field, to face the Pittsburgh Steelers. With Gale Sayers not fully recovered from an injury, and with an unproven offense, Chicago's only star is number 51, Dick Butkus. After his first quarter interception was wiped out by a penalty, Butkus's pose expressed the futility that has characterized the Bears in recent years. But like a true all-pro, Butkus refused to give up. On the very next play, he picked off another pass. Butkus is valuable to Chicago, not only for his own defensive genius, but because he serves as an inspiration. 